Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys Pebble Bits. Now, Pebble Bits is a custom firmware for your Pebble smartwatch. Uh, it in adds some new features as well as can disable a few things, uh, enable the emojis, change. Um, basically, it will give you a lot of options, and I'm going to go through it here and install it on my Pebble. Uh, right now, I'm just running the stock you know, for whatever version of Pebble 2.9 public release, not the beta. So nothing fancy on here. Um, we're going to make it a lot better. Before we begin, make sure your Pebble is updated. Uh, you know the version number, so you can get your version number of your Pebble by going into the settings option, going down to about, and scrolling down to hardware, and mine is a V3 R2. Uh, so make sure you guys know which firmware you're starting or which hardware you have before you start up. So um, right on the main screen here, um, when you go to the Pebble Bits website, uh, you'll click firmware at the very top here. You can do this on your iOS device. I actually recommend it. Um, you can go down here. So I am in English. I'd like some symbols, but I'm also very interested in adding the emoji 2.5 plus. Um, so we are going to add that as well. You scroll on down to the bottom here. Now what this is doing is creating a custom firmware on um, for your device. So you'll create it and load it right in right off the phone. It's pretty easy and handy to do. So uh, like this won't require a lot of extra knowledge or anything. Right here is where I'm going to select my version number. So I have a V3 R2 um, device. Yeah, V3 R2. So make sure that you're selecting the proper one. Now, here is where I can actually do some things. So I'm going to show you guys because I actually want to do this. I use a different watch face app. I've always used this app. I like it. It's just kind of clean. So these three stock spots that I can't really get rid of are always there. Now you can change this and I like the text watch but the classic and the simplicity I want gone. So I'm actually going to choose to remove those. Now these options, the next ones here, the menu options, are these menu. The music, notifications, alarms, watch face, and settings. Now, you can't remove the settings, obviously, but you could remove music if you don't use it, or alarms if you don't need it. Now, I like having all of the features available to me, so I'm going to leave them alone. Um, the next is firmware patches. So, I'm going to zoom out here, because the iPhone does a great job at scaling. Apple. Um... The first one is going to be display phone numbers instead of contact names. So if you're having issues where you're getting the like question mark, question mark, question mark incoming calls, um, that would actually be a good one to select. I don't have the issue, but it is a good one if you're like in a country, I believe it's like Italy and stuff like that. Um, so all of my international viewers, you might like this patch, that first one. Now, the second one is... So basically, you can turn the backlight on or off using a short back press. So using this, it's going to change the way the buttons, your up and down buttons function. Now, this would be if you wanted to turn on and leave on the, like say you don't want it to light up. So basically, if you want it to light up, you would have to press and hold and it'll light up. Um, I'm not going to change that neither, but it is an option. So if you guys read through there. Now, you can increase the font size for your notifications. I have it actually as small as it can go because I can see really good and read good, so there's no need for me to do that. Um, now, this one I'm really interested in. This is changing the button layouts for stock music. Basically, I can actually um, control the volume uh, with, my, with my iPhone and my watch, so I want to enable that one because that's really handy. Basically, if I want to switch songs, I would long press, and if I want to raise my volume, I would just short press, or I mean I'm touching the bottom one, so I would be like lower, but up and down, you know. So I like that, that kind of patch is really nice. Um, now, increase the auto hide time. Um, now, if you don't want your notifications to disappear so fast, maybe they're just not staying there long enough. I'm okay with actually the time it takes to do it, but some people want that. Um, the last thing is the translation. So if you need 
a different translation on your Pebble firmware, this is where you could enable it. Or you could even submit your own. Uh, just be careful doing that. Make sure you're an advanced user and you know what you're doing. So I'm going to create my firmware. Now I'm, I've finished. Uh, what I want to do is use one, the download link here, so I'm going to tap on this. I'm using Google Chrome. You guys can use Chrome. You can use Safari on your phone. It won't matter. Uh, just download the firmware now. Once that's done, I'm not going to install it to my Google Drive. What I want to do is go open in and choose my Pebble app. So I'm going to hop over to my Pebble app here. We're going to see my Pebble. Hello, Pebble. And we're in the app. So, it's going to say, warning, this firmware is from another source other than Pebble. It may cause instability or damage to your Pebble. Are you sure you want to proceed? So, I'm going to go, yes, continue. Now, we're going to see that I have a custom bundled firmware, and I'm going to go update. So, it's going to download. Now, we're going to see the progress on my Pebble. And, basically, I'm going to plop my phone down here. And kind of give you guys the world view of both of them going at it. So, this will install my custom firmware on the Pebble. Um, I'll leave this probably in real time, but uh, you guys can kind of see how long it takes. If it uh, takes too long, I'll speed it up. Alright, so the Pebble has finished and is now saying loading. So we're just waiting to reconnect to the device. So, as you can see, I have just installed version 7.9 by Pebblebits, and when I go back, I will only have my two screens here, which kind of shows you that the custom firmware is working, and I have a few other things, like if I decide, oh, I can't show the play music because copyright stuff, but anyways guys, uh, that's installing a Pebblebits custom firmware on your Pebble. Uh, this will work with, as you can see, many of the models, Steel, version 1, 2, 3. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and if it's handy or um, what you guys chose to do with your pebbles. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.